John Gonzalez joining us now live from the streets of Baltimore with the latest on reaction to the state's attorney's announcement. John, uh, tell us where you are and tell us what you're seeing. Bruce, I'm at the corner of West North Avenue and Pennsylvania Avenue, what we've been calling this week, week the ground zero, the epicenter of all of the unrest here. This is where most of the rioting took place on Monday. And I can tell you, things were really softening up as far as police presence. Yesterday, in fact, there were maybe two dozen police at this intersection without their riot gear on, but in light of this press conference by the state's attorney, not only have the police officers now and the troopers put on their riot gears once again, but they've brought in more police and more National Guardsmen. We can also tell you that state troopers from Pennsylvania are also here now assisting with this situation. You can see many of them are still surrounding some of the buildings lined up in front of the uh, buildings here. This is the library here on the corner. So. Not sure exactly what's going to happen, what's going to unfold in the next couple of hours, but in light of that press conference, police wanted to definitely be at the ready here, just in case there was a little bit more tense moments, uh, more unrest here at the intersection of West North and Pennsylvania Avenue. A lot of folks we've been talking to out here saying that, well, they're pleased to hear what the state's attorney had to say just moments ago, listing the charges in great detail and the officers by name. Just moments ago, a car drove by and we heard a passenger yelling out the window, justice, justice. So we've been hearing from a lot of the neighbors here and also, well, people who are a little concerned that there was going to be a little bit more unrest, maybe some more rioting today. As of right now, it's been just minutes since that press conference concluded and nothing out of the ordinary. As you can see, traffic is still moving. The roads are not closed. But take a look at this. Mike, if you can zoom in on that car, we're seeing more and more of this now. Cars driving through the intersection with their fists up in the air as a symbol of victory and honking their horns. And I'm sure we're going to start to see more and more of this as time goes on this morning and this afternoon. Guys, back to you inside. All right, John, thanks very much. And if you're able to uh, talk with anyone, if anyone comes by and you're able to talk with them, reminding them, of course, ahead of time that they're going to be on live TV, uh, we're certainly eager to, to get reaction. Um, do you think folks will be surprised, John, or uh, from what is known about the case, are the, uh, is the approach that the state's attorney has uh, pursued here going to sort of dovetail with what uh, the expectation would have been? I think the expectations are much greater, uh, I, I think what happened during that press conference, much greater than what many anticipated, I should say. I, from talking to people all morning long, they didn't think that we would get uh, a full list of charges and names of the officers. So again, many of the folks we have been talking to, very pleased to hear what's going on. Let's see if we can turn the camera around and maybe talk sure. to some of these folks yep. real quick. We yep. might be denied. Let's see what happens here. Gentlemen, can we talk to you real quick, sir? Can we talk to you real quick? Just your thoughts. I, I see you quietly observing uh, an intersection that has been very tense at times here right. this week. And to see all the police move in today, uh, more than what we were seeing yesterday, your thoughts on, on what you've been observing here today? I think it's disgusting that black people and poor people all throughout cities on the east and west coast are being treated worse than animals. Animals go to the SPCA and they're never ripped apart before they reach the you know destination, but black people are. And in a society where slave money built this entire country, I feel as though just equal treatment shouldn't be too much, you know, to ask for. Now, the state's attorney just held her press conference. Mm -hmm. She, in great detail, gave the charges, charging several of the officers uh, for the death of Freddie Gray. Your thoughts, vindication? I would like to know if they were charged with murder, involuntary manslaughter, or a relation to those things. You know, because uh, involuntary manslaughter, I was told, is only a 10-year maximum charge. So on a maximum charge with a good lawyer, you can walk away with six months probation. You know, uh, assault on the Baltimore street is 10 to 15 years, and the most you'll get is a year, and that's only had previous violent charges. You, you, so if these police officers have no violent charges or record in voluntary manslaughter, they may not do the just time for the crime they've committed. Thanks for talking to us. Anytime. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. So again, you see more and more, Bruce, here we go, more honking cars in a sign of, of victory, perhaps, uh, the best way to put it. Uh, Hey, John, we have a lawyer here. Why don't we...